Hello, hello. Hello, students. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Buenas noches. Hello, Ruth. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. And you? I am doing sure. great. Very happy to be here. Hello, Eli. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Claudita. Hello, Joanna. Thank you. Good evening. What a pleasure to have you here. So, thank you very much, people, for all your audios. <laughs> I have really enjoyed this. And I am there listening little by little. All of them, right? It is a it is a great happiness for me to help you, to assist you, for to have you practicing uh, with that. And I think it is going to be very beneficial for all of you, right? For you to practice and develop new skills. So we are going to start our class today. Uh, waiting, we're going to wait for one minute for your friends to come, and we are going to start the class by reading our agreements before everything, okay? Vamos a empezar primero recordando nuestros agreements for the class, okay? The first one, remember, practice your English as much as possible. That is the first one. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep your microphones off if we are not using it. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. And practice your speaking with the audios every day. So those are our agreements for the class. And we are going to use them every day, right? Remember them. Today, my dear students, I am going to start by asking you to use the chat on Zoom. Do we all find it there? Todos ubicamos donde está el chat de Zoom. Yes. Yes. Okay, you are going to use it. I need you, please, to open the chat, and I need you to find an emoticon that represents your day today. Okay, I need you to find an emoticon that represents your day today. Busquen un emotico, un emoticono que represente su día de hoy. Okay, find an emoticon that represents your day. Go ahead and send it on the chat. Find an emoticon that represents your day. Send it there. Send it on the chat. Send it on the chat because we will use it. Okay, send it on the chat. I have here uh, Raul Antonio, Eli. Very good. I have mine, Marvin, Ruth, <laughs> Odilia. It's like, ah, she's tired. Lorena, good. <laughs> oh my God. Odilia, la niña, su cabecita, el pelo. <laughs> Is she your daughter, Odilia? Eh, se llama Sofía. No, no, no. Is, is, your, is it your daughter? Es tu Sí. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. Look at her. She's so beautiful and doing her hair. Hello, Sophie. Hello. Hello, sweetie. Yeah. Tiene las trenzas más lindas que yo. Nunca me he hecho. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, good. So, there you have all your emoticons. Claudia has like a face like, hmm. Okay, Joanna, it's a very happy face. So tell me, let me see. Raúl Antonio, why that face? ¿Por qué esa carita, Raúl? What does it represent? ¿Qué representa esa carita? I cannot listen to you. No te oigo. No, yes. Un día muy pesado representa. It was a heavy day, 
right? It was a heavy day. Eli? Yes. Igual, cansado. Tired, tired. <laughs> it was tiring, tired. tiring. Let's see. Uh, Marvin, what happened? What is the meaning of that, Marvin? Uh -huh. Uy, perdimos a Marvin. <laughs> he was sleeping on the chat and he fell asleep. Se durmió. <laughs> Ruth Marielos. What is the uh, meaning of that phrase? Porque, teacher, estuve repetir y repetir el audio y lo volví a borrar y lo volví a repetir. Y estuve así casi durante dos horas. ¡Guau! Y comencé en la mañana a las once. En lo que mi hijo estaba eh, entrenando, yo estaba... Um, Good morning, teacher. Good morning, everybody, everyone. Y creo que de la tarde dije good afternoon, porque me llegaron las dos de la tarde y, no. o sea, empecé así como a escribir y, ah, o sea, un gran radio y de verdad, nerviosa, de verdad que con yeah. miedo, lo intenté, me salió mal porque me equivoqué, no era así, creo. Yeah, pero... no, no, but... No, but don't. Entonces don't, era así como la carita, qué pena, vea. No, no, but don't complicate that much, people. The idea is that you practice and try, right? Si se equivocan a la primera, a la segunda, it's okay, but don't frustrate yourself, okay? De hecho, en lo último quise des, eh, poner, o sea, como me equivoqué totalmente, eh, después de comer pastel, a reventar cuetes, pero dice, ¿cómo se dice reventar cuetes? No. O sea, no lo puse. <laughs> yeah, to burn, burn fireworks, right? Burn fireworks. I am going to send it there. To burn fireworks. That is the meaning of reventar cohetes. Okay, uh, let me see. Teacher, yeah, for the next one. Claudia, why that face? No sé, siempre tengo la cara así como que... <laughs> muy bien y muy tranquila. <laughs> that that is a... el audio me quedo así como que no sé si está bien también. <laughs> a suspicious face like. Mm. Uh, right. sí. Good, Carlos Alberto. What is the meaning of your face? Was it a happy day, Carlitos? Uh, no, what was the meaning of your face? ¿De qué significaba su carita que puso en el chat? It was a happy day. Ah, ok. Uh, no, a, nice, a nice day. A, good, a nice a good day. day. A good day. Ok. So, yeah. yesterday we finished working on this, right? We finished working on the conversation. Happy birthday, right? And they were going, they were going to do something specific on the birthday. Tell me, who is going to invite the dinner? Who is going to invite the dinner? ¿Quién va a invitar a la cena? Este, Angie. Mm, no. Ah. Uh, who is going to invite no. dinner? No, eh, Kyla. Yeah. Kayla, right? Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. Okay, tell me, are they going to eat cake? Are they going to eat cake? Yes. Yes. Tell yes. me, what is he going to do on the weekend? What is he going to do on the weekend? ¿Qué va a ser el fin de semana? Es el... Celebrate my uh, uh, celebrate su, su cumpleaños. Uh -huh. If you say celebrate my birthday, celebrate, celebrate his, his birthday. His birthday, his right? birthday. He's birthday. going to celebrate his birthday. And when is the birthday? On August 9th, Sunday. In August 9th, right? Sunday. And let me see, what are the waiters going to sing? Happy birthday. Excellent. The they are waiters? going to sing. The waiters son los meseros, right? The waiters. Waiters. What is the feminine for waiter? 
¿Cuál es el waitress. femenino? Ajá, waitress. waitress. Very good. Okay, waiter and for the ladies is waitress. Waitress, waitress. waitress is for the lady. Okay, students, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Uh, uh, students, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? No, teacher. Nothing. <laughs> well, I am going to celebrate my birthday, you say. Uh, students, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Seguimos la conversación. Uh -huh. Well, 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 Okay. Okay, I am going to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> no. No. Estamos well, hablando well, estamos well. hablando con su mejor amigo, se está hablando con su chero del alma, con su con su partner. Y te dice, "Hey, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend?" Well. Well, well I am going, going to celebrate, celebrate my birthday. birthday. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. 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 ¿Cómo? Well. Toma dos. <ríe> ok. Si alguien les pregunta a ustedes, hey, ¿qué vas a hacer el fin de? Nada, fíjate, yo creo que voy a ir a un restaurante, me van a celebrar el cumpleaños y todo lo But you don't say, Ay, eh, voy a ir a un restaurante porque me van a celebrar el cumpleaños. <ríe> Qué bien. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Pregúnteme. Este... Pero para saber cuál es um, el acento que se utiliza, porque realmente los salvadoreños no tenemos acento, pues. That's eh, why. Very ajá. good. Ajá. Good Entonces, question. para saber cómo es que el acento que ellos tienen, porque great y todo eso, o sea, yo le puedo decir great y estoy feliz, pero no es el great que quizás ellos lo pronuncian, pues. Entonces, okay. para saber eso. That's a good question. Ok. In English. We have to articulate. We have to use our mouth in order to express, okay? So, in English, you have to use a lot of pronunciation. In this case, we say, for example, eh, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Y si se fijan, la pronunciación va como para arriba en las preguntas. ¿verdad? Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Because you are waiting for an answer, right? But if you are going to do anything exciting, you have to sound exciting. Si van a hacer algo que verás como excitante, chévere, tienen que ponerle el tono de eso. You don't say like, well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. No, you say, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous, right? You have to exaggerate a little bit. English is a little bit exaggerate. It is, it is. El inglés sí tiene un poquito <coughs> exagerado. Es un poquito más exagerado, un poquito más expresivo. En Spanish, you say, si sí, te vi en metro, ahora y no me hablaste, te subiste a la costa y ni me viste. Oh. And you don't move your mouth, right? It is so lineal. And in English, you say, I saw you today in Metro Centro and you didn't talk to me. You got on the bus and you didn't see me, right? You are like dancing with the pronunciation. En inglés, tiene que ir como bailando con la pronunciación for you to express your feelings. Okay, so in this case, I say, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? O sea, traten como de imitar la pronunciación que yo le doy. Vamos a ver cómo nos sale. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do anything to celebrate my birthday? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Well, well I'm going, I'm going to, celebrate to celebrate my birthday. birthday. Fabulous. 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 Like a chivo. Fabulous. 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 When is your birthday exactly? When, when is your birthday, birthday exactly? exactly? When is your birthday exactly? When, when, is, your when birthday is your birthday exactly? exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. It's August 9th, August Sunday. August 9th, Sunday. Sunday. So, what are your plans? So, so what, you are what are your plans? plans? Well, 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 my well. friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. 
Is she going to order a cake? Is she, is she going, going to order, order a cake? cake? Yeah. 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 And yeah. the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. And, and the, the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. to me. It's so embarrassing. It's, it's so embarrassing. embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. <clears throat> Por ejemplo, it's en esta so última parte que dice, ay, es que me da tanta pena. Ahí no le vamos a poner una pronunciación bien alegre, ¿verdad? Ah, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, right? Because, because you say like, oh, it's so embarrassing. Come on. So, it's like when you say fabulous. Imagine if you say fabulous, sad. ¿Cómo dirían fabulous, sad? Emocionado. Fabulous. Uh -huh. Fabulous. Así como que, ay, qué fabuloso, right? In Spanish, it's easy because one word can mean many different things. En español, si le dice usted fabuloso, with different pronunciations, it's difficult. And you say like, hey, fabuloso, qué chévere. But if it's like, ah, fabuloso, qué lindo, dele. <laughs> It means different. <laughs> Woohoo, fabuloso, yeah. <laughs> so in Spanish, she has different things. But in English, it's the same, right? You say, fabulous. You don't say, fabulous, right? You say, nice. You don't say, nice, right? Nice. And for sure, you are happy for the person. So you have to practice a little bit on articulation and for sure the pronunciation is going to go according to what you want to express and the meaning of the sentence, okay? Ahí va muy de la mano lo que usted quiere expresar y lo que significa lo que está diciendo, right? So it has to go along with it. So let's practice people. I am going to be Angie and all of you are Philip, okay? Ustedes son los del cumpleaños, los lindos, los alegres, ¿ok? I am Angie and all of you are Philip, ¿ok? Todos ustedes son Philip. Bueno. Students, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, 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 well my cake is going to take. Ella is going to take the name. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. yeah. The waiter is more probably going to see the cake. It is a embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, it's so embarrassing. Okay, now I am Philip, and you ask me the questions. Go ahead. Are you going to do anything exciting uh -huh. this weekend? Ruth, salvando el grupo. Everybody, <laughs> all of you are Angie. All of you. One, two, three, go. Are you going, going to do anything exciting this weekend? weekend? Ah, no, organizémonos. One, two, three, go. Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Okay, when is your birthday? Que el birthday como que es el día de la cerveza, right? The birthday, <laughs> birthday. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> it's August 9th, Sunday. So, so what are so you what plans? Are you plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> good, you see? Very good job, people. Very good job. Un aplauso para ustedes. Muy bien. You see? Pronunciation. Intonation matters a lot. Okay, la entonación tiene que ser muy importante. ¿Qué quieren comunicar con lo que están diciendo? Right? Imagine if you say, 
eh, I don't know, my sister had an accident, right? You are not going to say, you know, my sister had an accident right now. And I was like, what? What's going on, right? So like, people, I am, I have an emergency. My sister had an accident right now. Help me. So you look, you sound worried, right? Tenemos que saber bien lo que estamos comunicando para ponerle la entonación necesaria. Because in English, you don't have uh, stress marks. En inglés no tenemos tildes. En el español, eso nos ayuda a saber dónde va la fuerza de voz y todo. But in English, you have to understand the message and for sure, you have to do it, okay? Si alguien llega a tocarle la puerta a las dos de la mañana, no le va a decir, Hi, how are you? How are you doing right now, right? Hello, how are you? Voy a llegar como a las tres de la mañana. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? It's so like, what's going on? What do you want? What do you need? Right? At two in the morning. <laughs> and intonation and expression, it's very important, okay? Aquí nos vamos a hacer un poquito de estudio de drama, de articulación, de pronunciación, de... So you have, you have to work a little bit. You have to be very expressive in English. Expression makes a difference between a difficult English speaker and a good English speaker, okay? Si se fijan, y no sé si lo han notado, la mayoría de gente que habla muy buen inglés es muy expresiva. Y usted dice, hey, que se oye bien nativo, se oye bien natural, se oye bien chévere. Because they are very expressive. And they accompany with movements, with expressions, with everything. So it helps a lot. But if you want to speak English without opening the mouth, that will be different. Si quiere hablar inglés y no ni siquiera mueve los labios, that will be very difficult. Y va a tener a la gente preguntándole, ¿Ah? ¿Qué dijo? Sorry? No, 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 no. No, open your mouth, okay? Participate, articulate, and pronounce. That is going to help you a lot. It is going to help you a lot. So, let me see. Yesterday, <clears throat> we started talking about the use of going to. Sentences that we have here with going to. This one. Are you going to do anything exciting? I am going to celebrate my birthday. Um, let me see. Is she going to order a cake? Right? The waiters are going to sing happy birthday to me. Those are sentences with going to that explains things. Kayla. That it's going to. Okay, my friend Kayla, very good. Is going to take me out for dinner. This one, all of them talk about the near future, right? How do you know that it's about the future, right? Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Vas a hacer algo. El fin de semana, right? It, they are things that you know that are going to happen later in the future, right? I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I am going to cook. I am going to do this. If I ask you, for example, what are you going to do after the class? ¿Qué van a hacer justo después de la clase? I, I am going, going to sleep. I am going to sleep. sleep. I'm going okay. to our business. I am going to work, you say. I am going to sleep. I am, I am going, going to, to homework. I am going to do homework. Oh my God. Online? <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, the platform. <laughs> so if you see here, and this is something very important, right? And I am going to give you another example. My friend Kayla is going to take me. Are you going? to do, right? She's going to order. And what you have here is that with going to, you use the normal form of the verbs. You cannot say, I am going to sleeping. I am going to cooking. That is not possible. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque going to, después de to, que es el infinitivo, va un verbo normal. I am going to clean. I am going to Sleep. I am going to take a shower. I am going to clean the house. I am going to drink coffee, right? That is uh, something good. The, ver the, the use of going to is very friendly, but it's very simple. 
And in many of the cases, the problem is that we forget to use to. Okay. A veces se nos olvida y solo decimos, I'm going celebrate. I'm going shopping. I'm going eh, visit my family. And you don't say to. Eso es bien común que, se les que a mucha gente se le olvida poner el to. So you say, I am going to, going to, siempre van juntos. I'm going to cook. I am going to celebrate. I am going to clean. Okay. Tomorrow in the morning, what are you going to do? What are you going to do tomorrow in the morning, people? I'm, I'm going, going to work. work. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to our business. I'm going to tomorrow work. I am going to work. You say. I'm going to work. I am going to work. I am going to visit my family. I am going to visit my family, right? I am going to work. Okay. Tell me. What is this person? Let me just stop here. Okay, vamos a parar aquí esta presentación. Okay. And I am going to show you a couple of things. Okay. Let me see. Here you have. What is this person going to do? He's going to play guitar. He's going to play the guitar, right? He is going to play the guitar. What is he going to do? He's going, he's going, he's going to, uh, to clean the garden. Okay, he's going to clean the plants. He's going to clean the garden. He's going to plant the plants. <laughs> right? To plant the plant. Va a plantar las plantas. And? He's going to paint the wall. To clean and paint. He's going to paint. To paint. To paint what? To paint. A living room. To paint the wall, right? He's going to paint the wall. What is she going to do? She's going to sing. She's going to us. She's going to sing. To sing, right? She's going to sing. What is she going to do? She's going, to, she's, she's going to ride a bike. Going to ride a bike. She's going to ride a bike. Very good. What is she going to do? She's going to shop. She's going to shopping. She's going to shopping. She's going to shopping. Okay. Good, good sentence, right? She's go going to go shopping. Go to shopping. She's going to go shopping. Yes. Teacher, una uh -huh. pregunta. ¿Y yeah. el boy y el shopping? Uh, ah. Which is the shopping. difference? Okay, Shop. she's going to buy is comprar. But in many of the cases, when you use buy, you have to use the object. She's going to buy shoes. She's going to buy Food. She's going to buy a house. She's going to um, buy explicit, a car, right? It is more explicit, right? Uh, and, okay. and when you say she's going to go shopping, it is like uh, va, ir, va ir a comprar, right? Compa. She's going to go shopping. And here you have uh, the definition. When you say uh, I am going, going to go and you, After this one, en el caso de este, go sería el verbo. I am going to go shopping, okay? And you can also say, I am going to go to the church, okay? When you use a place, I am going to go to, okay? Cuando van a usar un lugar, y ahí se los envíe en el chat, cuando van a usar un lugar al que van a ir, I am going to go to, y ahí ponemos lugar. To the hospital, to the school, I am going to go to the supermarket, I am going to go to the uh, to the store, right? And you use it like that. What is he going to do? He is he going, going to swim. He is going to a swimming. Ajá. Uh, lo, que acaba, the swimming. lo que acabamos de hablar, ¿qué va después del verbo? ¿Qué va después de tú? Un verbo, verbo normal. normal. Swim. He is going to 
Swim. 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 He's going to swim. ¿En qué momento ocuparíamos swimming? Si decimos... Presente. Continuo. Presente. Ajá. No, no, no. And in this case, when you say he is going sí. to go swimming. ¿Ok? Si dijéramos he is going to go swimming, ahí sí. Porque va a ir a nadar. Va a ir a nadar. In this case, he is going to go swimming. But if you say he is going to swim, el a a nadar. Ok. He is going to go swimming, right? That is like, él va a ir a nadar. What is he going to do? He is going to wash the clothes. His clothes. He's going to wash the dishes. He is going to wash the clothes. Okay. No, la ropa. Yeah, he's going, going to wash the clothes. clothes. He's going to wash uh, his no. clothes. Another, okay. ¿Qué otra forma podríamos ocupar para hacer esta oración? Hay otra forma. He is going to go washing. No, he's going to go washing. No, right? No. Washing the dishes. Ajá, en that case, he is. Ahí sería. Okay, he is going to go to the laundry. Laundry. Si decimos, he is going to go to the laundry, es que va a ir a la lavandería. Right? And if we say, mañana, he is going to do laundry. Esa es la otra forma. He is going to do laundry. Él va a hacer toda la lavandería. Toda la lavandería es el hecho de eh, todo el, el lavado de ropa. He is going to do laundry. Es que me toca la lavada, decimos. Mañana. Going to do <laughs> Alejandro, where where do you work or where do you live? On the world, the live and the and the. No no no, listen. Eh, de todo. Where de do todo you live? Andorito. Pero dónde vive? Es mi pregunta. Ah, allá en Haití este peque. Pero I... yo estoy aquí por el calón. Ah, ahorita. okay. Yeah, because I, yo creí que estaba allá por Texas. <laughs> Ah, algo así se mira aquí en galería, pero aquí estoy adentro. Ah, you are in the building that are building. Por Texacuan. Por Texacuan. Ruth, tell me. Eh, teacher, eh, eh, si me puede aclarar, el I am going to go, eh, el verbo eh, sleeping, entonces ahí yo le puedo agregar ING. Ahí pero sí. si le si, si no lleva el go después del to entonces es el verbo sleep ajá I am going es to sleep todo. ajá I am going ya lo, ya lo vamos a hacer como en oraciones ordenadas ya van a ver ah okay, okay. ya la vamos Gracias. a ver what is she going to do tomorrow there you go Ay. I am going no sé qué no pasó. espéreme mira wait déjeme mi computadora ajá clean ah She's going to clean. clean to cook. Uh, cleaning? The yard. Yard. Oh. To clean the yard, right? The yard. To clean the yard, right? And let me see this one. Uh, he's, he's going, going to, to add. Going to act. He's going to add. Act. Very good. Okay. What about this add. one? Vaya, ¿cómo es Claudia? He's going to, he's going to be the animal. Claro, que les gusta a los gatos. She's going, okay. he's, he's going to be the animal. He's going to eat the cat. He's going to eat the cat. No, no, aquí no estamos en chino. He's going to feed. Feed es alimentar. Feed. 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 Okay. <laughs> Because if you say he's going to eat the cat, no, right? He's going to cut it and eat. no, 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 right? What is it? We are in Thailand. What about this one? Vaya, vaya, Juan Carlos. Going to cook. Going to cook. He's going to cook. To cook. He's going to cook. Juan Carlos, are you a chef? Uh, I, 
I am. Oh, you are a chef. So nice. What yeah. are they going to do? Uh, going, going to dance, 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 to 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 dance, He is going to play the piano. Very good play job. Piano. Excellent. Well, before I continue, I am going to call the attendance. Porque ayer ya casi los mando a dormir y no les había pasado la asistencia. Let me just do it. Okay, let me do it right now. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, my dear class. Let's see. Alejandro Jovel? Present. Thank you very much. Ana Elizabeth? Present. Arabella? Present. Thank you, Arabella. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Qué lindo, Arabella, que no la habíamos visto. Estos días. Sí, realmente se me había escapado con tanta cosa, pero hoy tuve cuidado. No, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Hoy aquí la tenemos todos los días. Carlos sí. Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Vanessa. Carmencita. Claudia Iris. No va, ya no va a ingresar, Carmen. Ay, ok. No sé, tuvo un contratiempo, dicho. Sí, <ríe> Alejandro está, en, me llega, está enterado de todo, me gusta eso. <ríe> Denis. Present, teacher. Eli Antonio. Present. Eneida Verónica. Present, teacher. Thank you. Janet Rosibel. Present, teacher. Jennifer Alexandra. <ríe> Jennifer Alexandra. No. ¿Qué pasó con Jennifer, Alejandro? <ríe> <ríe> Joana Damaris. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos. Here, teacher. Liana María. Present. Lorena Saraí. Here, teacher. Marvin Neftalí. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Raúl Antonio. Present teacher. Odilia Zuleima. Present teacher. Ruth Marielos. Present teacher. Sandra Georgina. Sandra Georgina. Silvia Lisette. Present. And teacher Nati. Present. Good. We are all here. Good. So I am going to show you right now a, a little bit on uh, the construction of sentences, okay? Nos vamos a ir un poquito a la construcción de las oraciones para que vean cómo es que se arma, okay? Let's go here. Okay. <clears throat> so here we have the different sentences with going to, right? And in this case, it is pretty uh, simple because it doesn't change that much. So you say, uh, I... You have to be careful because you use the verb to be with this, right? You have to make sure that you use the correct form of the verb to be and make sure that you use it. Okay. Okay. Ah, uno de los errores más comunes que se dan es que se nos olvida poner el verbo to be. Y decimos, I go in swimming. I go in play. I go in wash. No. I am going to, okay, play. You are going to swim. He is going to wash. We are going to play soccer. Okay. So in the use of the verbs, what is really important is the verb to be according to the sentence, the, the, the subject. Okay. Aquí los tenemos hasta por colorcito, right? I am, you are, he, she, it, is, we, you, they, are. Going to, complete, okay? And then the normal form of the verb, okay? Si aquí en el verbo tenemos, I am going to go, como decía Ruth, I am going to go, 
después de go, podemos poner I am going to go shopping, I am going to go swimming, I am going to go eh, uh, running, right? You have different activities with ing. You can have it. Or if you say I am going to go to, nos referimos a un lugar. I am going to go to eh, visit my mother. I am going to go to the school. I am going to go to the, the university. I am going to go to the office, right? Teacher, ¿y yes? no se puede poner, eh, está la otra opción de at o siempre tendría que ser go to? Okay, yes. Because you cannot say I am going to go at church. No. Porque at es cuando ya estamos en el lugar. Okay? So you say I am at the university. Okay? For example, estoy en la universidad. Okay? En el caso de at es en. I am at Metro Centro, right? I am at school. I am at home. Ok, no podemos decir yo voy a ir a en, porque ahí sí ya nos confundiría toda la oración. Right, I am at the university. Ok, I am at the university. I am going to go to class. You can use going to to complement that idea. I am at home. I am going to rest. I am going to sleep. Ok. So in that case, that's why you cannot use it like that, okay? But uh, it is a very good question. So let's create a couple of sentences. Here, I have some examples. The examples that I have here, the subject, the verb, going to, and the other verb. She is going to cook dinner, okay? And you have them here, right? The subject, the verb to be, going to, the normal verb, and the complement. The next one, you have, she is going to ride a bike. ¿Cuál es el otro ejemplo? She's going to sing a song. He is going to sing a song. The next one? He is going, He's going to, play to play soccer. soccer. He is going to play soccer. The next one? They are going to have a party. They are going to have a party, right? And the last one? She's going to go to the cinema. cinema. She's going to go to the cinema, right? The verb to be, in this case, it is very crucial, okay? El verbo to be aquí es muy importante porque es el que nos ayuda a complementar el sujeto. Okay, these ones, for example, if you want to make these sentences negative, si las queremos hacer negativas, ¿qué cambio les hacemos? She isn't, they are She isn't. isn't. She isn't, she's not. She is not, right? Not. And you say, okay, she is not. She isn't. She is she is not, not or she, she not. isn't. Right? She, she isn't. She isn't. Is it's possible as well, right? And in this one, say she's going to ride a bike, and you say no, teacher, she is. She isn't going to she's ride, not ride a bike. Going to ride a bike. He is going to sing a song. He is not. He's going not. He is not. not going to sing a song. He is going to play soccer. He is he's not, not, going, he's to not going to play soccer. To okay, play he soccer. is not going to play soccer. No podemos decir a soccer. He's not going to play soccer. Good. They Dicho, are... ¿Se puede contractar el is no? Yes, isn't? yes, ah, yes. Okay. yes. Ahorita okay. por, por eh, motivos de explicación lo estamos poniendo solo. They okay. are... Not going to have a party? Yes. And they are going to the cinema. And she isn't going to go to the cinema. To the cinema, okay? And in this one, you can say, they aren't going to have a party. You can use it, contracted, right? They are not going to have a party. And what about the next form? I have here the negative, right? 
So you say, she is not, not going to cook dinner, right? She is not going to cook dinner. And the, this is the negative form. Uy, hay un musicón salvaje ahí, ¿qué pasó? Teacher. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Teacher, y en el caso de I am, la negación. I am not. In that case, you say I am not. That is the most common because you don't say I am not, no, right? <laughs> I am not. I am not going to. I am not going to, right? In this one, you have the subject, the verb to be, not going to and the verb. She is not going to cook dinner, okay? Tell me one thing that you are not going to do after class. Díganme una cosa que no van a hacer después de clase. Uh, I, am, I am not going to dance. I am not going to dance. Uh-huh, another one. To sleeping. To what? <laughs> I am not going to. I am not. Sleeping. Sleeping is not possible. Podemos sleep. ocupar sleeping? Aha, I am not going to sleep. Okay, good. Sleep. Vamos okay. a hacerlo uno por uno. Voy a ir. Claudia, una cosa que no vas a hacer después de clases. I am not going to. I am, I am going Tiene to. Tiene la gata. <laughs> Come on, don't interrupt. Uh -huh. I am not going to cook. To cook, very good. Raúl Antonio? Raulito, one thing that you are not going to do? I am not going to cook dinner. To cook dinner. And Ada? I am not going to... Uh... <laughs> I am not I am going not, to... I am not going to homework, English. Okay, I am not going to do homework, <laughs> To right? do homework, English. Very good. Okay, in that case, say, I am not going to do English homework. Okay, I am not going to do English homework. Juan Carlos. I am not doing uh -huh. I am English homework. Uh -huh. English homework. I am not going to play soccer. I am not going to play soccer. Dennis. <coughs> Dennis Eliseo. I cannot listen to you. No te oigo. <laughs> Um, I am not going uh, to do play games. Okay, organizémoslo. I am not going to, si do. decimos, okay, si decimos, I am not going to do play games, tenemos do y play como dos verbos. I am not going to play. Exactly like that. I am not going to play games. Odilia. I am not to dance. I am not going to dance. I am not going to. Recuerden la estructura. I am not going to dance. Carlos Alberto. I am not going to dance. Carlos Alberto. The microphone, sweetie. I cannot listen yes. to you. I am not going to play video games. I am not going to play video games. Uh -huh. Mentí. <laughs> After that. Just uh, Joanna Damaris. I am not. I am not going to take a shower. You are not going to take a shower, right? No, it's too cold. Liana. I am not going to watch TV. I am not going to watch TV. Ah, uh, menti <laughs> watching TV at <laughs> Ruth. I am not going to drive. I am not going to drive. Alejandro? I am not going to clean the house. I am not going to clean the house. Janet? I am not going to watch TV. I am not going to watch TV. Eli? I am not going to eat. I am not going to eat. Marvin? I am not going to rest. I am not. Why? 
¿Por qué no va a descansar? ¡Ah! No, no va a dormir. Oh, ¡Ah, you have to vez. work! ¡Oh, my God! ¡Silvia! Um, I am not going to wash the dishes. You are not going to wash the dishes. Lorena, ¿está ahí? I am... Yeah, I, I am going not... Uh, I am going not... I am not disculpe. going to... I am not going to watch TV. I am not going to watch TV. Ana? Uh, I am not going to read a book. I am not going to read a book. Carmen Vanessa? Carmencita? Carmencita. Arabella? I am not, I'm not going to get a shower, take a shower. I am not going to take a shower, okay. Así nos vamos a ir a dormir. Ni se sí. van a poner PM. Okay, <laughs> good, very good job. So those are the negatives. Just remember to use the complete structure, right? No se coman ninguna parte de la estructura. Now, to make the questions. To make the questions, it is very easy because you take the verb at the beginning, right? Lo que vamos a hacer en las preguntas es pasar el verbo al principio, right? So in this case, <clears throat> we have here, is she going to cook dinner? Okay, is she going to cook dinner? ¿Va a cocinar ella la cena? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is she going to cook dinner? And I am going to make a sentence here, right? Is she going to cook dinner? The normal form of this one will be, for example, if we have a, this sentence. You say, she is going to cook dinner. She is going to cook dinner. The negative, you say, she is not, she is not going to going cook dinner. Dinner. And for the question, you say, is she going to cook dinner? And you make the question form, right? You have the three sentences here. She's going to cook dinner. She is not going to cook dinner. Is she going to cook dinner? Y ahí le ponemos la entonación distinto porque esperamos respuesta, right? Is she going to cook dinner? Yes, she is. No, she is not, right? When you use yes, uh, when you use is at the beginning, you have yes or no answers. Yes, she is or no, she is not. Okay, or you can say yes, she is going to cook dinner or no, she is not going to cook dinner. Okay, that is the questions. Now, ask me questions. Ahora háganme ustedes preguntas a mí. Teacher, are you? Teacher, are you, uh, are you going to sleep after the class? No, I am not going to sleep after the class. <laughs> Questions? Pregunte, pregunte. Uh -huh. Teacher, are you going to eat after class? We never know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. No, I think I won't. Maybe I will drink water, right? After class. Good. Questions. Questions. Teacher, are you going to dance after class? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mientras se edita el video, we can dance. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Questions, questions. Are you going to listen to music after the class? Yes, I am. While I wait. Mientras espero que se carguen los videos. Yes. Questions, questions. Yeah, Cinco, teacher, cuatro. Are you uh -huh. going to watch movies? After class. After class? Yes, I think. Yes. <laughs> Romantic. 
<laughs> romantic Bye. Christmas Bye. movies. Bye. <laughs> you, know, you know there is a there is a channel on cable tv that gives christmas movies all the day every day and my husband loves that he can watch the christmas movies every december the same movies <laughs> and i don't like them but i watch them anyway and green <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think no. Yeah, Navidad en noviembre, Navidad en enero, oh, Navidad en junio. Oh, única, Claudia. Yes. Niño. Questions. Vamos a ver, si nos preguntan en cinco, cuatro, les pregunto yo a ustedes. Tres, dos. Teacher. Uh -huh. How are you going, no, how are you going to read books? Am I going to read books? Maybe tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, yes. Questions? Teacher, are you going to take a shower after the class? Yes, probably, because I am very tired. <laughs> uh huh. Teacher, are you going to go to the beach in this weekend? Not in the weekend, but maybe the next one. Yes. Okay. Not not this one, but maybe the next one. Maybe. Where where are you going to? I uh, well, we usually go to Costa del Sol, but uh, I think we are going to go to uh, Sonsonate this time. Okay. Yeah, I love I love Costa del Sol. That's my favorite, but we never know. Who are, who are, are you going to with? With my family, with everybody, with so all good. the people. <laughs> yeah, todo el gentío. En una coaster. We are going to go in a coaster <laughs> to go together. Well, so those are the questions. Those are the questions that you can create with is or are and going to. Very nice questions. Congratulations to all the ones who ask me questions. And that's the form, right? That is the form. The idea is that you don't eat any part of the sentence, okay? El secreto de eso es que no se coman ninguna parte de la oración. Don't say, she going to. No, she is going to. Cook, the normal verb, right? Don't invent new sentences. Después ahí andamos invocando cosas. <laughs> and you say, the future with questions, right? <clears throat> and we have examples here. Are you going to do anything this weekend? And we have two options of answers. ¿Qué opciones de respuesta tenemos? Yes, yes I, I am. am. I am. So I am. Okay. No, I am not. Okay. I am not. Okay. I am not. Okay. Pero, am. Pronunciémoslo am. bien todos. Am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am going to. Yes, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Yes, I am going to celebrate my birthday. No, I am not going to stay at home, right? Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, yes, she is. She, she, she is going to invite going all, to my friends. Invite all my friends. All my friends. She is going to invite. To invite, not she to invite. She's going to invite. Invite. She is going to invite. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She's going to take she me out. She's going to take she's going me out. She's going to take, going to take me out, out for, for dinner. dinner. Are the waiters going to sing happy birthday to you? Yes, they are. Yes, they yes, are. They are going to sing happy birthday. They are going to sing happy birthday. But they are going to give me a cake. Yes, they are going to give me a cake. Okay, they are going to give me a cake. Okay, they are going to give me a cake. So in this case, we okay. have to be very careful. We have two ways of answers. Yes, I am. No, I am not. 
And if you want to give a complete answer, you say, yes, I am going to celebrate. No, I am not going to stay at home, okay? <laughs> so you can say yes or not as an answer. Podemos decir una respuesta tan fácil como, yes, I am, no, I am not. O you can give a complete sentence with, yes, I am, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Or no, I am not, I am not going to stay at home, okay? To give a complete answer. So today, people, we learned affirmative, negative, and interrogative with going to. So tomorrow, we are going to have a lot of practice. Okay, so please try to organize the ideas, try to practice the sentences. And tomorrow, we are going to do a lot of practicing, a lot of conversations and things, creation of sentences with going to. Okay, so uh, that will be it for today. I really appreciate your time and I invite you to keep practicing, okay? Tomorrow you can say in the morning, what am I going to do today? I am going to work, I am going to take the bus, I am going to take a shower, I am going to eat breakfast. ¿Qué van a hacer mañana todo el día? Think about it. Because that is future. I am going to drive. drive. I am I'm going, going to, to drive. I am going to work. I'm going to clean. I'm going to work. I'm going to clean. I'm Who is going, going to, to work or drive? I'm you are going, going to. to... <laughs> Who is going to take a shower? Raise your hand. Hey. Can you clean the house. Hey, hey, hey. Who is going, going to, to clean take the a house? shower? ¿Quién, va, quién yeah. se va a bañar mañana? Nadie levanta la mano. Probably, teacher. I don't know, teacher. No, probably. I am, no. I am the clean, the clothes. Okay. Probably, you say probably. Who is going to go to sleep right now? Everybody, right? Who is going to go to sleep? Everybody. Everybody, because the class Everybody. is over. Alejandro. No. No, yo no, yo todavía no, yo todavía falta. Ustedes a las 3 de la no madrugada manda, manda, chat. Ay, no, Alejandro, yes. no, no, no. Yes, <ríe> Bye, dear porque class. voy por unos largos días ahorita. Oh, my God. Well, but Hoy job is... Para largos días y... Tenemos trabajo, that's important. The job. <ríe> Have a beautiful night, yes. my dear students. See you tomorrow for another class. Thank you. Practice. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.